When you think Super Bowl headquarters, this is not exactly what comes to mind. TV monitors of city intersections, a Red Cross rep on the computer. Welcome to the Super Bowl's Emergency Operations Center, the place where first responders are making sure the big game and all the events around it stay safe. In the fire department, automatic aid is a daily response. We do it every single day. We're used to working with one another. This is just a bigger scale of that. This is including PD, and it's including public works, and it's including weather. Everybody and all agencies that are involved are represented here. More than 40 federal, state, local, and tribal agencies have teamed up to respond to any and all emergencies. Police and fire, the Red Cross, the National Guard, the FBI, and the list goes on. Kevin Smith with the FBI's Phoenix Division tells us they have agents right this minute trying to track potential plots or terrorist activities, and they're keeping tabs on every Super Bowl event this week. This board in the Operations Center shows every Super Bowl party from now through Sunday. I can tell you that the security dragnet around the Super Bowl, around the whole valley, is so great and so robust that it would be difficult for somebody to do something and probably really a bad idea. Arizona's family was asked not to disclose the op center's location for safety reasons. We're told there are no credible threats of any kind at this time, but everyone in this room knows that can change at any moment. We would never want to be caught in a situation where if, God forbid, something were to happen that involved either multi-casualty or multi-injury that we weren't prepared to respond and we are prepared for anything that could happen. We also got word that Arizona's National Guard has been called into action this week. They will have a presence here at the Super Bowl and at the Waste Management Open in Scottsdale. Let's continue our team coverage, sending it over to Jared in downtown Phoenix. Jared.